Rajiv Pradarshi and I would like to welcome you all to this video. We have with us two of the giants of public speaking, Ed Tate and Johnny Campbell, who will be sharing their experiences on how to become a great speaker and what are the challenges that you need to overcome. It's my great pleasure to welcome you, Mr. Ed Tate and Mr. Johnny Campbell. Hello. Hello. All right. Well, Ed, he wanted me to ask a series of questions here, to screen you here for a moment. Oh, okay. Put you on the griddle here. All right. First question is this. How did you get started in speaking? Like, what caused you to want to become a professional speaker? Wow, that's a great question. Um, I actually, my path began on January 17th, 1994, 4.31 a.m. in the morning. Um, I was actually an executive in a computer business. My boss had asked me to, to go on a business trip. He says, like, it's going to be, you go to this conference, you come right back. Well, that turned out to be the date of the Northridge earthquake in California. And for those of you who are familiar with it, it was a 6.8 earthquake and about 65 people died that day. I was almost one of them. And that was a turning point in my life and also in my career. And from that point in time on, I realized that my current job working in computers, it just wasn't for me. Now, it took me a while and it took me some drifting. Mm -hmm before I finally was introduced to Toastmasters. A friend of mine said, hey, there's this club called Toastmasters. Why don't you come? And if you'll go, I'll go. So my good friend Nancy Spurry, who's part of Cherry Creek Toastmasters, said, let's go. And we both went, and we were invited to speak. I actually won table topics that day. No, no, she won table topics that day. And then later on, we joined the club, and the rest, as I say, is history. So that's how I, my path began. Shortly thereafter, which I also got involved in the Colorado chapter of the National Speakers Association. And for those of you who are serious about pursuing this craft, this art, this business, being a member of the National Speakers Association, and for those of you internationally, there's an international version of this as well, that's a serious step or something for you to consider. Go to nsaspeaker.org, and they have details there as to how you can pursue your professional career. Okay. All right, now... On that line there, where you've already talked about how you got started, mm -hmm. what would you say has been some of the challenges that you've seen in building the business, given the economy and just given everything that goes on, what's the biggest challenge? Great question. The, the biggest challenge for me, I started my business model different from everyone else. I established some relationships with training companies, speakers bureaus, etc. My business plan, my business model, was that I actually had five organizations who booked me on a regular basis. Right. Okay. And they had to have a sales team, and the partnership was I go out, do the work, make them look good, and they would book me. And that business model worked great up until four years ago, where I got a little lazy. I, didn't, I had two instead of five, and I was making a significant amount of money from those two. Those two companies went out of business wow. in 30 days of each other. Oh. So I went from fee to free in a very short period of time. Now that was ahead of the current economic crisis that our country is going through right now. Right. And so it was. It turned out to be a blessing in disguise because it forced me to learn how to market. I've said this over and over again. Everybody wants to speak, nobody wants to market. If you're serious about this business, you must learn how to market. Now Johnny is an expert in marketing. And I don't know if we're gonna be talking about that here and there, but you know he, he's an expert in street-wise marketing. And I'm a certified guerrilla marketing coach. Bottom line is, pick a flavor, but learn how to market your business. Most people in this business don't know how to market themselves. Everyone, like for example, I heard someone, they want to talk about, um, and I'm not, I'm not trying to make judgments about what people should pursue. I'll put it this way. If you're going to pursue speaking as a profession, there's three questions you need to answer. And this comes from Alan Weiss, PhD. And his website is summitconsulting.com. Number one, why you? Why you? What credentials do you have? What's your background, etc.? Number two, who will pay? And number three, how will you reach them? How will you reach the people who are paying? So in terms of me pursuing a market, in terms of this business, those are the three questions I ask. And if the answer is no to any of them, then it's time to pursue another market. Great. All right. And then final question here for you on this one is, what is the one tip that you would give any aspiring speaker, or maybe even someone that's been around a while, what's the one tip you would give them that would help them be better at their own business? This, uh, the key word is business. Mm -hmm. It's a business first, you get to speak second. If you get this order mixed up, 
you don't get to speak at all. So that's the one thing. It's a business first. The, that's the number one. Number two is that you must market every day. You must market some, some form of outbound marketing. It could be sending your words around the world through blogs and newsletters, uh, through books and pamphlets, etc. Speaking for free in front of targeted organizations. That's part of my strategy. I speak in front of chambers of commerce and leadership organizations, etc. That's how I generate my business. But you must market on a regular basis. Treat this as a business. Learn the distinction between a hobby and your avocation. Your avocation is what you get paid for. Your hobby is something that you dealt. All right. Thank you so much for the great uh, intro to public speaking. Uh, for more information, Ed Tate is the 2000 World Champion of Public Speaking. You can go to his website. It is edtate.com. And Transition Man Johnny Campbell is also a phenomenal speaker. You can go to his website, transitionman.com. And you can watch Toastmasters Village for more inputs about Toastmasters and public speaking. This is Rajiv Pradarshi from Toastmasters Village. Thank you for watching this video.